For GoPSUSports.com, I'm Kelsey Detweiler. Tonight in Rec Hall, the number 11 Nittany Lions pick up their second non-conference win of the weekend, defeating Lees McRae in five sets. On Saturday night, Penn State invited a few of their newest friends from the IFC Panhellenic Dance Marathon to join them on the court to begin their matchup against Lees McRae. The young but scrappy Bobcats gave the Nittany Lions a challenge in what ended up being a five-set match, but Penn State went away with the victory, winning games two, three, and five of the night. Sophomore Tom Comfort had a huge night offensively with 19 kills on a .429 hitting percentage. Junior Ryan Wolf followed with 15 kills, and freshman Jace Olsen added 10 of his own. The Nittany Lions also had some much needed help from sophomore Nick Turco, who recorded seven blocks at the net. As a team, the Penn State defense tallied 13 total blocks to fend off Lee McRae. We're here in Rec Hall with head coach Mark Pavlik where the Nittany Lions just defeated Lees McRae in five sets. Coach, what can you say about tonight's match? Are you satisfied with the way it ended? We had a win, and that's about the only good thing that came out of it. Tip your hat to Lees McRae. They came in and played hard. I think uh, we made a value judgment early on and didn't think this was an important match, and I think it showed. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is that you know, when we had to in game five, we came out and we controlled them, and we should have been doing that since game one. But, you know, you tip your hat to Lees McRae, and that's the beauty in the men's game. Guys can be physical. Balls can be hit off of blocks and out of bounds, and uh, those things happen. So anytime you step on the court, you've got to be ready to play your best. And preparing for a team like Lees McRae, I mean, on paper, Nittany Lions 9-3 and three overall, and Lees McRae 5-6. and six. Do you think we prepared, you know, not enough for them, or what well, was the deal? The, the, the negative to men's volleyball is you don't have enough information. Mm -hmm. There's no video on Lees McRae out there. All you can do is look at their stats and guess. But, you know, you get out on the court with them one game, you figure out what's going on, and you play hard. I don't think we played hard tonight. And last night I'm in rec hall for a couple of weeks, but we will miss you. But how um, are you expecting your guys to play on the road? What are your expectations for the next several weeks? Well, if we learn from this, I think it sets us up for uh, an idea that we're going to go into some hostile environments. And if we don't go in with an energy and a passion to play, we're not going to be very successful. So uh, we'll see how this young group decides to handle that. Well, best of luck and congratulations, Coach. Have a good one. Penn State heads on the road this week to face EIV Conference foe St. Francis on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. For GoPSUSports.com, I'm Kelsey Detweiler.